Animals are truly amazing, aren't they? They hunt, they socialise, and they perform many actions that we only thought humans can do. I mean, there's the playful antics of dolphins and crows who can make tools with their esteemed intelligence. But have you ever stopped to actually wonder what is going on in their minds? Are they merely reacting to their environment, or are they experiencing the world how we do, as humans, processing all of this substance? You see, understanding consciousness is one of the greatest challenges in neuroscience and psychology. It's this, almost, concept that allows us to think, feel, and to know we currently exist in space. But can this be said for other animals? Do lions, dogs, and even fish experience emotions, self-awareness, or dreams like we do? Let's look at the evidence of if animals are truly conscious, because it's a question we've all wondered for hundreds of years, and have we actually got any closer to solving it? I suppose it's probably a good idea to start by addressing what consciousness actually is. Consciousness, as said, is probably one of the most elusive concepts in psychology and neuroscience, and to put it rather simply, it refers to the awareness of oneself and one's environment. Basically, knowing you exist in space. It's the ability to experience sensations, thoughts and emotions, something that we do completely naturally. Now, defining it is one thing, but understanding how it works is a completely different ballgame. For you watching this video, consciousness probably feels obvious. It's that little voice in your head, or the images or abstract thoughts in your mind when you daydream. Maybe that feeling you had last night when you plan to change your entire life at 3am. But what about animals? What about your dog? What about your cat next to you? Do they experience their world in the same way we do, or is their awareness fundamentally different? Well, scientists have come forward and proposed a few theories to try and explain it. One prominent idea is the integrated information theory, suggesting that consciousness arises from the complexity of neural networks. Essentially, when a system like a brain processes information in a highly unconnected way, consciousness may generate as a byproduct. By this definition, many animals could experience consciousness, as brains are interconnected in many animals. This is the brain of a rat, for instance, and look how interconnected it is. On the other hand, we have another theory called Global Workspace Theory. This theory kind of compares the brain to a theatre, if you will. In it, various stimuli compete for attention, but only some get that precious spotlight entering our global workspace of consciousness. For humans, our workspace and theatre are supposedly huge, allowing us to reflect, plan and imagine. In animals, it might actually exist, but be a lot smaller and simpler for a theatre. It's also crucial that we differentiate from intelligence in this analogy. Yes, an animal may be able to use a tool and solve a problem, you can see monkeys performing short-term memory tasks here, but this doesn't mean that monkeys know its present existence in space. Consciousness is a lot deeper, and the challenge is therefore measuring it from intelligence. With you, I can ask you, what are you thinking of, and you'll say skibbity toilet and Instagram reels. With animals, we can only rely on behaviour and brain activity to guess, really. This opens the door to the next big question then. What evidence do we actually have that animals might be conscious beings? Let's take a look at some examples. So, the mirror test is a classic experiment used to measure self-awareness. You see scientists place a mark on an animal's forehead and then have them look in the mirror. If the animal sees the mark on themselves and remove it, or even investigate it, it's considered the animal recognises itself as an individual. Now, great apes like chimpanzees and orangutans famously pass it and will inspect the marks, indicating they understand the reflection represented themselves. Dolphins also do as well, however they tend to explore and mimic their own reflection, showing they do kind of understand it. Elephants frequently use their trunks to inspect the marks, as do birds, such as magpies, scratching at stickers placed on their feathers. But it poses the question about animals that fail. Dogs famously do fail, but they can recognise their own smell in the converse. Is it therefore a different sense leading to self-awareness, sight contrasted to smell? And another thing is that babies actually fail this test until around 18 months. So again, does this mean the test means babies are not conscious beings? Or is it simply a case of intelligence coming in through problem solving? And if we move on to another test, for example, in problem solving, we can actually discuss if this means consciousness. 
Problem solving requires innovation and planning, and crows are known to excel here. In the famous case of Betty, the new Caledonian crow, she could bend a straight wire into a hook in order to retrieve food from a tube. Now, this behaviour required understanding of this problem and then being able to create a specific tool to solve it. This can also be seen in the general population too, as wild crows frequently use sticks to extract insects from logs. Now, whilst this might argue advanced cognition, other scientists believe it's simply learned behaviour from an evolutionary intelligent species. We can see the same pattern in octopuses also demonstrating this kind of ingenuity. In one study, they used coconut shells as portable shelters and would carry them to create safe havens. They could also unscrew lids of jars to further complete this. But again, as with crows, it's difficult to say if this is because the voice in their head is telling them to do so. So what if we consider another aspect of consciousness entirely, emotional awareness? Many animals exhibit behaviours suggesting they can feel and even empathise with others. Elephants are a good example, wild herds have been shown to mourn the dead and stand vigil over their bodies. So these have compared their emotions to grief, as certain behaviours are not shown at all when the camaraderie are alive. Rats also showed similar behaviours in another study, freeing their friends even if it meant sacrificing their own food. Some thought this was altruistic, but others claimed this would also instead de-stress the rat. But finally, think of your pets. Dogs, for instance, are known for their emotional sensitivity, and just like we can see in real life, studies have shown dogs go to comfort their owner when we cry, and even grieve the deaths in famous examples like Great Fry's Bobby. But once again, scientists propose this behaviour is a learned behaviour and conditioned, and not the sign of emotional understanding. Animals in these examples are not sentient, they are just responding to evolutionary learned stimuli and showing intelligence. So is there any way we can further investigate to see if these animals are conscious and sentient? Of course there is. So, whilst we do have behavioural studies giving these insights into if animals are actually conscious, we have more means of investigating by using our advancements in neuroscience and biology. We can basically try and look on a more concrete level on what's going inside this animal's head. A key focus of this type of experimentation is identifying neural correlates, brain structures and activities linked to awareness. In humans, it's our cerebral cortex and particularly the prefrontal cortex which is supposed to play the central role, but is this the same in other animals? Well, research has found many animals have brain structures analogous to our human cortex, primates especially, having highly developed neocortices responsible for decision making, problem solving and memory. Studies on a chimp reveal neural activity similar to what we see in humans. I mean, look at it. You can't really tell the difference really, can you? It suggests a shared mechanism in conscious thought. Even birds, despite lacking a neocortex, exhibit remarkable cognition. The avian pallium, a different structure, performs functions analogous to again our cortex, and this is highly active during problem solving, like using tools, and their brains show deliberate planning. And once more, even octopuses showed similar activity in their respective neural clusters when solving problems. But it's still not actually that clear. Just because animals can problem solve and we can see it, doesn't mean they're doing it consciously. Take AI for instance, it can solve problems, but it's not conscious. It doesn't have thoughts and emotions like me and you, and this causation argument can apply to animals. So what really is the general consensus? Well, there's a fair few scientists that believe animals are in fact conscious. In fact, the New York Declaration on Animal Consciousness was recently signed by 39 researchers officially declaring there's a realistic possibility, and it links to a notion called the encephalization quotum, or EQ. With this, it's used as a proxy for potential consciousness. Humans have the highest EQ because we are conscious, but other animals score high because of their brains being really complex and having a large surface area. Animals that score high generally are the ones listed in these experiments and brain scan mentioned throughout this entire video. And the size isn't just the crucial thing, it's how connected all these neurons are in their heads. In dolphins, chimps and birds with their unique avian pallium, they score really high and it's really connected, but nowhere near to the extent humans is. Now, this gets crazier, because now, yes, this is hypothetical, but our brains weren't always like this. It therefore becomes entirely possible we as humans were not always conscious like we are now and had some form of pre-consciousness, evolving to having it a lot more in-depth now. Animals could be here now themselves, processing some, which is why they perform well. It explains why chimps and birds can be seen as self-aware in the mirror test and dogs can show empathy, but they can't perform abstract reasoning like we can. I mean, for all we know, give it a few million years and evolution might have it that their consciousness fully evolves and we can speak with dolphins. 
But hey, that's just a theory. No, not that one. But it's still a really interesting theory nonetheless. So tell me, what do you think? Do you think animals are conscious? Let me know in the comments below. And if you don't, well, no Instagram reels for you. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate every single one of you. Be sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed. It's free and it really helps me out. See you next time.